Hi again. This is the third and final in a series of um, showing you how to use the basics in, in AlbumGen to create your pages. In the first two we showed you how to uh, place objects on the page and as well as text and so you can generate your first, uh, first pages. The second uh, video we showed you how to align objects on the page and how to add your own, um, your own images. And now I'll show you how you can um, add text to the borders so you can have headers and footers and page numbers. Um, and then I'll show you how you can use some of the ornate borders that are built into AlbumGen. So let's start by uh, showing you how you can uh, add some page borders. You can right click on the page and go to Page Setup. And then you'll see all sorts of objects, uh, sorry, all, all sorts of uh, things that you can do. One of them is the borders, but we'll leave that for now and we'll show you how you can do headers and footers. So for the header, there are three areas that are devoted in, in Album Gen. There's a left header, which is up here. There's a center header, and then there's a right header. Then there is the footer, which goes down at the bottom. Again, at the bottom, you'll have a left, a center, and a, uh, a right uh, footer. So let's put a center um, header here and we'll call it Aiden Sample Page and we can change the font to be, oh let's make it nice and big and if we wanted um, a footer we can put it down at the bottom right and we can add, tell it to add a page number. So just click there. And oh, that was my subtitle. Um, there we go. And click OK. All right. So as you can see, there is our the header that will be printed on um, this page. You can have it so that it prints on every page or just this page. And there's our page number. Um, let's show you how you can do a, another footer. So we go to page setup again, go down to footer, and then we'll go to right. Instead of page number, I'll call this, uh, let's say these were from 1950. Or whatever is relevant for you. And this is going to be an aerial 10 point. So there you go. One of the other things that you can do is you can change these borders. So if you zoom in here, you'll see that this is a single line border. If you notice this gray area here, that is what we call the no print zone. So you won't be able to move any object closer to that uh, page other than that uh, no, no print area. And you can always change that. So again, to get to the uh, border uh, page border area, you click on Page Setup, and this time we'll go to Borders. Um, this is how you get into the custom borders, but for now I'll show you how to use the um, just the regular borders. So there's a double line, just different kind of borders depending on what you're trying to do. So let's say it was this one that you wanted to use. If you zoom in you'll see that that's what will be printed. Okay, so now let's get into some of the custom borders. Again, we right click, go to Page Setup. This time you collect borders, and now you can see some of the custom borders that we've designed. And we've got different names for them, but I'll scroll through a few of them. So there's one we call Canada. There's a castle, colonial. There's a diamond. There's a Graco one, which I use a lot for uh, a lot of my albums. Uh, there's an Ireland one, an Israel, Olympic. There's an ornamental. There's a perforation one and a regal. There's a USA one with the stars. Let's go back to the um, this Graco one. So what you'll see now is in the pre-display um, um, uh, area on Album Gen, custom borders are, can't be rendered on the page. You need to zoom in 
and then you'll see where they will print but they you will not see them uh, displayed on the page until you actually print them so let's get rid of that there and we'll go say none and we'll go back to our corner style now the other thing that you can do is you can set the margins so sometimes when you're you're printing you know sometimes you need a little bit more margin or a little bit less again the same way that you access almost anything in Algen is you right click on the page go to page setup and then you go to margins and then you can set your top and bottom margins your left and right margins and the border width this border width is that five area the five millimeter dead zone so we can change that to point one to show you that it's almost going to be nothing so if you click now and zoom in you'll see that there's almost no border to get it back go to page setup margins and change that back to five so if you wanted your right border to be 10 millimeters you click OK and you've now just made that page a little better so depending on your needs you can adjust these uh, these page borders to pretty well do almost anything that you want so I hope we've covered enough of the basics for you uh, feel free to experiment there's there's a well documented manual here that uh, explains pretty much everything but uh, for now this should get most people going alright we hope you've enjoyed these bye for now